Welcome to the satellite communication course. Today we learn that AOC system, that is attitude and a orbital control system. So in which uh, AOC subsystem, we need to know about what will be the satellite orbital position. You can say that the orbital position of a satellite and we learn that what will be its orientation. Now, so because of that variation, the position of orbit, so we need to fix the position of the orbit of a satellite or position of a satellite in a given particular orbit or a particular place there. So why this orbit variation takes place? The orbit variation takes place because of that a gravitational force of a sun or we can say that a gravitational force of a moon. If we consider that a gravitational forces of sun and moon basically on the geostationary satellite because of that they change the position, which orbital position changes. And again that there is a that earth surface or uh, earth is not a spherical one. So non-sphericity of the earth and that will change the orbital position. So non-sphericity of the earth, so there may be irregularity in a gravitational forces and because of that orbital position will be changed. Means we say that non sphericity of air another one is about a solar pressure because a solar panel is there and we have the antenna because of that solar pressure on this panel as well as the antenna so that will change the orbital position of the satellite there. Or there may be a variation in the earth magnetic field. Variation in earth's magnetic field. And because of that, there will be changes in the position or there may be changes in the, you can say that, orbit there and orientation means what what will be the uh, inclination in the plane of a rotation around the sun and if that inclination changes because of that uh, your uh, satellite is rotated and then inclination changes Okay, so earth inclination is changes because of that factors. So that's why the orbit position is changes. Means orbit around the earth that is again changes there. So we need to stabilize all this factor or we need to consider all this factor and fix the position of the satellite even if all these conditions, how to fix the position of the satellite. So that's why they have some particular AOC functions and that AOC functions are used to correct or we can say that a correcting the position of a satellite or correcting the position of a satellite to keep in a stable in a three axis stabilization or we can say that that location will be fixed there which we need to correct it. So whichever the beam is changes for a given satellite here on this earth, so means what happened, a given antenna radiated the signal and this has some particular beam. So because of that position of the orbit changes, the focusing of this beam is changes. So now that area coverage is changes, the so earth station looking for in, in that particular region, 
the changes so earth coverage changes so beam coverage changes so that's why attitude is to be corrected here so that's why we need to use a satellite position is to be corrected using the different technique or we need to stabilize the satellite in a space using the different technique one technique is about a, a spin stabilization in a spin stabilization the satellite is spinning around its axis generally the spin stabilization satellite is about a cylindrical in shape and at this particular cylinder so they have the we can say a solar panel there and here we have the on the cylinder itself it has a solar panel and then uh, what will happen this one is about the axis of the satellite it is rotating that is about a spinning satellite so what uh, that front portion of that solar panel will get that radiation from the sun and be back end they are not getting the radiation from the sun it's only half of the portion will be covered by the sun here so now if you consider that a spin stabilization satellite so the satellite is to be stabilized stable when your satellite is spinning there so if you see that it has a cylindrical in shape and that rotate around the given axis so because of that factor of we can say that a gravitational forces or orbital position change so because of that what happen they change the orbital position or their changes in the rpm occur so whatever the rotational orbit is there if in terms of a geostationary satellite if you consider that this satellite is rotating around the earth suppose if it is a geostationary satellite so in that case this is about the axis of rotation of the satellite earth and this is about the axis of rotation of the satellite so they both are parallel here because since it is a geostationary satellite it is fixed but satellite is spinning around its axis and then that antenna is located at some particular position here or here itself and they are transmitting the signal to the satellite there so they generally the spin stabilized satellite generally they are using a omnidirectional antenna if there is a changes in the attitude occur and that will be detected by which of the sensors are present in the satellite spin stabilized satellite that is sun sensors or earth sensor or sensor that are placed on the satellite and that will provide the information about the position of the attitude and all so then that attitude is to be corrected and that can be corrected using a which of the thrusters available in the satellite or small jets are available in the satellite so they can change the attitude there or inside the satellite they have a small electric motor or a spinning fly wheels are there that will be used to stabilize the satellite there means we say that a spinning wheel or we have we can say that a motor or a thruster they will be used to stabilize the satellite another satellite is about a body stabilized stat satellite so this body stabilized satellite it has a three axis so that's why some books they say that it is about a three axis stabilized satellite so we have the earth here and this is about the a satellite and this is about the rotation of the whatever the we can say of a satellite there in the given action then for a given particular satellite they have some particular pitch this is about a pitch here and then we can say that a roll here so they will be rotating likewise you can say that's about a roll so this is about a 
just like a, uh, we say earlier that is about a spinning around its axis just like this one is about a pitch here and that pitch is nothing but normal to the orbital plane and this one is the your orbital you can say that is about a orbital path for the given particular satellite we say a earth and around that it is just rotating around this axis or that axis okay that is nothing but a yaw here and this is about a rule and that will be a tangential to the given orbit here so now if you can say that this is about the rotation of the satellite that is nothing but a roll here and this is about a pitch here okay or you can say that likewise we have the three axis stabilizer so generally if you consider that this particular satellite because three axis stabilized satellite they are used to generate the high power because they have the large number of a solar panels or they are using large solar panels or a large size of an antenna so that's why this large solar panel due to large solar panels and the antenna that satellite is to be stabilized so that it will produce a correct beam or a coverage of the antenna so that's why they this that large satellite the have the three axis stabilization technique so that's why we can say that it that pitch that pitch is nothing but what the spin of a satellite around the axis this is about the, this is about the around the axis that satellite is to be spinning and here this is about we can say that this one is about the line joining from the earth to the satellite and here the spin of the satellite is nothing but the around the line joining of the satellite and the center of the earth here and that axis of this particular yaw is about you can say it lies in the orbital plane so if you see that this is about a spinning so that's why the axis of this earth and axis of the satellite is a parallel here in case of a pitch means what spinning of the satellite around the axis and that will be normal to the plane of the satellite orbit and axis of the earth and axis of the satellite is a parallel here and in case of a yaw the spin of the satellite around the line joining the this one here line joining the center of the earth to the we can say that a satellite here so that is about a yaw here and that roll is nothing but the spin around the axis that will be tangent to the orbit this is about a tangent here to the orbit and this axis also lies in the orbital plane and all these three axes they are orthogonal to each other so the role of the pitch is a move satellite in a east west direction means east west station keeping or a satellite maneuver okay station keeping or you can say that position of the satellite there and that role is used to move the satellite or you can say that move the antenna to the north and south position okay that is about a moving to the north and south and this yaw it will be move circularly around the line joining this satellite and the earth there that is about a yaw here that is that is a three axis stabilized satellite and then how to control the attitude so we can use a various sensors to control the attitude here so there are the various techniques to control the attitude now we can see that the attitude is nothing but what it changes in the orbital position so attitude control system is the changes the attitude and apply the correction required so that 
because of the changes in the position of the satellite so there may be an error occur and that error can be calculated using the errors or sensors or a sun sensors or a star sensors you can say that there are various sensors present you can say that star sensor or sensor or sun sensor are there so because of that variation changes in the attitude so that sensors gives us that position and then because of whatever the sensors data is collected that will be sent to the earth station via ttc command ttc and c command telemetry command here so that will use to send whichever the data received from the sensor that will send to the earth station for the correction in the satellite orbit they have employed some sensors so four sensors are there and that four sensors are generally say called as a horizon sensor and that are present in the earth horizon here so i'll just draw how you how that thruster model is there and how it control the stabilization you can consider here this one is about the axis here you can say that it's about a spin axis this one is about a thruster and this direction of the thruster is upward here and this is about a direction of thruster is a downward here you can say that is about a radial thruster one this one is about a radial thruster two and again we have the axial thruster we can say that axial thruster and again we have the axial thruster in this direction this is axial thruster one this one is about axial thruster now if you see the the satellite in the spin stabilized satellite so this portion is what it is about a front portion and back portion is nothing but what that solar panel is there in the back portion that is nothing but in in a dark now this one is in a light and this one is all another back section is nothing but a dark section so in a satellite so front portion towards the sun that will get heated and back portion of that particular satellite that is in the cold region or a, in a space region so front front portion get heated so that's why we need to stabilize the satellite thermally too so thermal stabilization is necessary because back portion is in the cold so that's why whichever the heat generated in the front portion that will be transferred to the another portion there so our sensor is monitoring that whatever the portion is present in a dark portion or whichever the portion present in the front portion there so horizon sensor provide the reference of the earth center when the satellite orientation that will be exactly parallel to the earth axis of the rotation if the earth satellite whatever we can say that attitude changes and that will be measured by the sensor so that will be correcting by providing the correct information there so in the case of a spin stabilized satellite because of that attitude error so then spin rate reduces so then that spin rate is to be corrected by firing a small thruster or or by you using that axial thruster and all these are available on the cylinder but that cylindrical shape of this satellite there 
so that attitude is to be controlled during the launching also so when we launch a satellite so at the launching of the satellite we should know that what will be the attitude of a satellite and at the time of a launching if the satellite have the large solar panels so then all the large solar panels to be folded as well as that antenna is to be folded and that at the time of a launching that should not get disturbed all the equipment all the component in the satellite that should not be disturbed at the time of a launching so that's why we need to use every time from the launching itself to the fix the position of the satellite and need to control the whatever the position of the satellite sometimes due to the atmospheric effect, effect when satellite is launching so small amount of wobbling is takes place and because of that some of the because mika means we say that just like we some uh, vibrations occur at the time of launching so that's why because of that there is a changes in the position of the some of the components there or some components get damaged okay like what so we need to take care at the time of launching all this components not to be damaged at the time of launching so here if you see that the thrusters or some wheels are used to maintain that yaw pitch and roll so that your satellite will be a three axis stabilized so we have the various assemblies present in a satellite so that they will fix the position of the antenna while disturbance at a disturbance or at a changes or orbital position changes so antenna can be antenna will be spin or dispin there okay that moment so we can use the different mechanism in the antenna for the keeping the position toward the earth there so orbital control generally we say that that will be nothing but what a keeping the position of the satellite toward the east east and west there that is nothing but what we can say it is nothing but a, a station keeping station keeping that term is used to correct the satellite orbit so sometimes we can say that a satellite if it is in a geostationary orbit so that can be drift in the either east direction or a west direction so sometimes we say that a geostationary satellite okay geostationary orbit so we can say that we have the satellite will work that will rotate in the east degree or we can say that it will be of the west degree degree west something so sometimes we say that what will be the position of that satellite because of the drifting so that satellite will change the position there so mostly we say that 75 degree something or a 105 degree that are the stable points if that point is changes in the 75 degree some or a 105 degree if it is changes so then we can say that there is a changes in the orbit now and that particular drift is occurred because of that variation in the orbital position or variation due to the other pressures and all so that to keep the satellite in a given particular orbit so we need a, to use a thrusters or we need to use a some particular motor or some particular fringing jets or whichever the equipment available in the satellite and so that fix the position of the satellite so now the when we launch a satellite so sometimes we fix the satellite but in times of a sometimes at the time of launching so we need to fix the position of the satellite so, or if the satellite is once we fix the satellite and because of that atmospheric effect or we can say that gravitational forces or a solar pressure 
if that position of the satellite changes orbital position is changes then we need to bring the satellite from its drifted position to the which or the exact position of the satellite or a, that will be in nominal position of the satellite and that is called as a east west station keeping that is called as a east west station keeping so sometimes the latitude will be changes due to the external forces and that latitude will be changes that will be 0.85 degree per year so we using a jet or a firing in the opposite direction so you can fix the position of that latitude or a longitude or whatever the east west station keeping there so if we change the that latitude is changes so then we can say that by firing the thrusters or firing the jet so we can keep the position so that is called as a north south station keeping okay so now we can say that east west station keeping and a north south station keeping so that is about a attitude control but all the factors if you see that that can be controlled here by using the tt and c subsystem that tt and c subsystem is nothing but what a telemetry tracking and a command and this ttc command or ttc subsystem that can be effective from the launching of the satellite till the miss we can say that beginning of the beginning life of a satellite to the end of the satellite okay end life of the satellite with the ttc subsystem we can use from the launching of the satellite and continue still the satellite is to end or decommission or removing from the given orbit so generally the satellite life is about a 10 to 15 of a year so from the launching of the satellite to the up to 10 years or 15 years the ttc command or ttc subsystem will work for the given satellite so what are the major task of the ttc command the major task of the ttc command is just like before that we see that what is the telemetry tracking and command system here we have the telemetry data encoder we have a telemetry transponder transmitter here we have a command processor then controller command receiver and that is the part of a satellite and this one is a part of a ttc subsystem that will be on the earth station so it will receive the telemetry receiver and process the telemetry data at the receiving and tracking those subsystem component and then then communicate to the satellite so basically ttc command system they have the multiple sensors are there and based on the sensor input so they will provide the actuating signal and according to that whichever the sensors output is there that will send to the earth station and then that says that will received then earth station send the signal to the satellite then it will be received by the satellite and according to that activating signal is generated and then your transmitter that satellite will move in the given orbit or position of the satellite will be changes according to the ttc command system so now the ttc command system is to use to track the satellite throughout the mission track the satellite throughout the mission when it is launching to the given particular orbit or, or raise the orbit from the leo orbit a gt orbit or a geo orbit in the initial phase there just like we can say that fixing the position in the orbit here then uh, they have the various motors inside the satellite 
when we say that uh, transferring the orbit from the leo orbit or you can say that from the gto then we say that is about a geo orbit so from the leo orbit to the gto orbit so we need to change the position of the apogee or a perigee there so in that case we need to use a apogee kick motor to change the orbit from the elliptical to the circular one so that your satellite will be fixed in the geo orbit there and then deploy the antennas because the antennas are folded there inside the satellite and solar panels again is folded one so deploy the antenna and fix the position of the antenna towards the earth so that earth coverage or that antenna pointing towards the satellite this towards the earth station towards throughout the mission there or maintaining the antenna position towards the earth station means beam forming we say that whatever the beam formation takes place we need to seek check about the beam formation here. or you make the antenna bore sight towards the earth station so that we'll get the maximum radiation and we'll get that sufficient eirp from the satellite then deploy the solar panels and then when we deploy the solar panel then fix the position of the solar panels toward the sun and then continuously monitor the satellite attitude and apply the correction there which are the if we change if any position changes at the attitude we need to monitor everything continuously monitor the attitude and apply the corrections if it is necessary there monitor the orbit and then by monitoring the orbit we need to check the station keeping there east west or a north south station keeping so we can check regularly checking that station keeping component or we can say that keeping the manure here then monitoring the health of the, all the subsystem on the satellite so some that means we can say that all the subsystem component means antenna solar panels then we have the transponder we have the other sensors there so there are the thousands of sensors present on the satellite satellite that will be monitored there so means that sensors monitor the health of the satellite there okay sensors provide the information about the health or some particular uh, component are not working if supposed to be during the eclipse that solar panels are not in use in that case we need to switch on the whichever the stored power supply is available so at the time of eclipse that storage battery is to be used and then sometimes if it is that sun earth and satellite when came in the same axis same line in that case some of the component is to be switched off there okay so similarly we need to control output power of the satellite when they are using the uh, that solar panel or they are using the batteries there then switching the whichever the transponders necessary or some of the transforms are standby in move standby mode if supposed to be any transponder fails so in that case another transponder is to be used so switching on that particular transponder and switching off that particular switch of the transponder that is not to be in use there so we need to change the orbit <coughs> position throughout the satellite life there so there are the various sensors are present and that various sensors provide the information about those major tasks 
so major task is nothing but what we need to use the particular standby transponder and once the life of the satellite is complete okay at the end of a life in life of the satellite in that case switch off all the transponders in the satellite and then move out the satellite from the given position or po given orbit means separating from the given orbit and switch off all the transponder there once the end of that life of the satellite is over after 15 years the transponder position is to be changed there. that is nothing but the major task of the satellite now there are the various sensors are there that sensors can be we can say that is about the voltage sensors current sensors power sensor temperature sensors pressure sensors star tracker sensor horizontal scanner inertial navigation sensor magnetic field intensity sensor switch position sensors fuel pressure sensor there are the various sensors are present and all the sensor data we can say that that data is about in the form of analog one okay and that all the data is to be transmitted using the pcm coding okay this pcm coder is used to code the data to be transmitted using the modulation fsk modulation or a psk modulation and that sensor information is sent through the ttc command that is nothing but a telemetry carrier okay that is about a information so whichever the parameters we are measured on this particular sensor that will be transmitted here through the telemetry command so generally we say that a a command okay these are the various sensor along with that some housekeeping parameters also measured using the sensor that is about the fuel status or attitude and output of a solar panel then whatever the bus voltage in the given transponder there and what will be the output and orientation of the star sensor so all the information of this particular sensor that will be transmitted through the ttc channel and all this data is formatted digitally using the sampling technique so we can use the pcm coder and that will be multiplex here so we'll get that digital data and that multiplex data they have some particular frame of a 128 122 eight words of eight bit length so just like we see that whatever the telemetry data and what will be the format of this particular data here so we'll see that the parameters and what are its specification so data rate generally we can say that transmitting the signal they have some data rates we say it is about the 512 or 1024 bits or 2048 bits okay that is the body we can say that the body bit per second we can say that a word length is about the 8 bits here then a sync word is about the 24 bit then frame length is about a 128 words then multi frame length that will be of a 16 frames that 16 frame is about a 2048 words and a channel coding it is used that will be a concatenated rs coding or a convolution coding
So that is about a read Solomon coding or a convolution coding that is used. And whichever the formatted data is there, okay, that rule of the formatter is convert of which data is there. That formatted data is modulated using a FSK modulator or a PSK modulator on a carrier and then that will send to the transmitting antenna. Now generally that transmitting antenna in a satellite that will work in a that will provide the omnidirectional radiation pattern. So that's why during the transfer orbit or yet from the launching itself that omnidirectional antenna is used for sending the telemetry data. Once the satellite is in a final orbit, then transponders are switched on and then the main antenna is pointed toward the earth and then TTC signals are transmitted by the satellite and that will be received by the earth station. And then earth station send the correcting information regarding the orbit or any corrections regarding the transponders and all and then then satellite will correct which of the information according to that they will correct the position and they will use the particular transponder or they will switch on and switch off some particular devices here. so sometimes whatever the power requirement we are saying that power requirement so means what which of the component is to be switched on and off in that case that information is to be sent by the earth station to the satellite there so that is about your telemetry transmitter information there so we can say that they have the output format is about a PCM or you can say that non return to zero or you can say that is a body PSK format there. and generally it is used in a this one is about a yes band okay so whatever the we are writing the information that is for the yes band of the operation of the satellite there. and the tracking system they are sending the signal to the satellite they are sending the signal means satellite send the signal to the earth or you can say that or send the signal to the satellite and according to that it will be corrected but the tracking system provide the information about the satellite by using the ranging technique means what is the position of the satellite is there so earth station send some signal or some one particular pulse to the satellite and then it will be returned back to the earth station now the earth station send the signal to the satellite and then satellite receive the signal then processes and received back to the earth station so that's why there may be a delay so transmitting time and receiving time because that is about a delay and that delay is used to calculate what will be the range here. So distance means you can say that distance traveled by the satellite sorry that signal from the earth station to the satellite and then satellite to the earth and that is nothing but a we can calculate that a satellite range in terms of the path delay for the round trip. And that is nothing but what R is equal to we say it is about a T by 2 into C. That T is nothing but the part delay for the round trip. And C is the velocity of a light and R is the range in the meter there. But some drawbacks are there while sending the pulse. The drawback of using the pulse for measuring that particular range is that because that signal is processed here or that particular pulse have supposed to be large width 
so in that case that resolution is not good okay so that's why we need to consider the short pulse okay or we can say that the duration of the pulse received to the earth okay that will be larger so that's why we can correct the position of the satellite at the given particular position so the command system here in the ttc command we say that telemetry tracking and a command system so command system in the satellite means what a satellite send the information about the whatever the sensors to the earth station then earth station or they have the processor they process the information and whichever the correction is there in a given particular place or a orbit then that data is to be sent to the satellite then satellite confirm the data again sending the information same information to the earth station regarding that correction and then 